Oh mein Geist, chante einfach nur die barmherzigen Namen von Nithai und Chaitanya und tanze. Oh mein Geist, tanze, tanze. Wie solch eine barmherzige Person wie Nityananda Prabhu, der selbst Prema verschenkte, nachdem er geschlagen wurde, kann nirgendwo sonst gefunden werden. Prema manifestiert sich nur, nachdem alle Vergehen überwunden wurden. Aber wenn man die Namen von Gora und Nitai chantet, werden keine Vergehen in Betracht gezogen. Wenn der Geschmack für Krishna Namen kommt, werden sich alle materiellen Beding Bindungen lösen. Wenn man liebende Anhaftung an den heiligen Namen von Krishna entwickelt hat, wird das Leben sehr leicht erfolgreich werden. Ohne Liebe zu Krishna ist es einfach nur verschwendet. Durch die Barmherzigkeit von Goranga wird es sehr einfach möglich sein, Darshan von Radha und Shyam in Vrindavan zu bekommen. Shahogana Rajana Tanita Tanishadaitan Shabhadevan Parigana Shahitan Krishna Chaitanya Devi Sri Radha Krishna Padam 
Commonly, commonly this is the uh, this is the mode of surrender. Mm. Right. Okay, no more resistance from my side. I surrender. Mm. I surrender. I surrender. Okay. Generally, I mean, in the Vedic culture, yeah. The, I think Western European culture, it may mean also other things. Hmm. While we raise two arms upward, mostly it means surrender, I surrender. Hmm. Sometimes say, okay, I give up. <laughs> it's another way, I surrender. So this. But it has got many more meanings. So arms are naturally raised in the mood and mode of some ecstatic expression. Expression of joy. Therefore we see those people in the musical, big, big, Musical concert who do not know about our way, Vedic way of raising hands, surrender. They just they also raise hands like this. I have seen this sway and they raise hands in natural, in natural way. For them, also for us, this is a natural gesture, natural body language. Of expressing joy, upsurge of joy. So upsurge takes place this way. So it's upsurge of joy. It means in some way going upward, upliftment, A gesture of some self upliftment in joy. This means blessings. This also means 
according to Vedic culture, it means blessing, giving blessings. Mm. This also means arms raised up or over the head. Sometimes may mean blessings, but blessings most most mostly this. Mm. There are different mudras. Mm -hmm. Blessings also. Mm. Go Hari Go. There are different uses of hands. In Vedic culture, there are different uses of hands, palms, meaning different ways. This, this, with mudras, they have so many meanings. They do like this during the yoga. Okay. The mantras, different ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mudras, different mudras. Some of the Mahajanas also do. Sometimes in the mode of speaking. There is a direction, giving direction, speaking about Supreme Lord, one without second. This is famously known. No need to explain further. <coughs> this way, this way. When you do this way, more of often. What do you say? Gesture, art, art of offering. This way, art of giving. Mm. Sometimes when in India, when we say this way, Yes. Mm, I will chastise you lovingly. Mm. You offered me a cute question in the morning, so I explained. Mm. Go, Hari, go. Yeah, some, of the, some of the very basic things we don't know so much about. Specifically, why to have darshan of the deities, or you see the Gaura Nittananda deity, sometimes you see it in this way. Mm -hmm. In this way means, this is the, this is the mode of, you know, this is the mode of come towards me. Okay. If the answer is you come towards me. Okay. Slightly slanting down, you see they are giving. Giving blessings. Okay. Giving blessings. Both ways. Hmm. One arms upward, one is giving. This also means artful dancing and art of dancing. Hmm. In the Vedic time, in the course of time, it is almost abolished, but there is a culture during the ancient Vedic time to express everything through body language just as you do for the what you say 
that is called mime, kind of like mime or this is you speak gesture language. Gesture language. Yes. You can express many things. Mm -hmm. During the very time that was also developed, gesture language. Very cute way. But then it was not maintained properly. You see. So different arts, different bodily arts were included. Cute, cute ways of demonstrating. Cute way of physical demonstrations. Expressing through cute physical demonstrations. <laughs> yeah. Hare Krishna. He's asking if the prema is eternally present in the heart but sleeping or if the prema is coming from outside to the heart. It can happen both ways. Actually, it does happen both ways. Some part coming from within our heart, deep from the core, from the depth of our heart. And some, some becomes revealed, okay, in our heart, in our life by the divine grace from above. Divine mercy from above. Okay. But both revelations, whether it is it is being revealed from within the depth of our heart or it is coming from above, being bestowed Okay, being bestowed uh, on us, in, on our heart. Both are caused by the divine grace from above. Without the help of grace divine, mercy divine, no real Krishna Prema can appear, can manifest in our life. Because the very nature of the Krishna Prem is that of super subjective character. We cannot we cannot occupy, we cannot create or uh, have possession of that by our own futile ability by our own strength and power, impossible. But but it is mercifully bestowed on. It mercifully reveals and embraces us. That's how it happens. Okay. So Krishna Prem can come, can be revealed from within and without from the Lord of the universe, universe around us, the Lord of the universe. Because the revelation of Krishna Prem is that of in and out nature. Mm. 
full nam. Way of his revelation is that of full nam character. Not only from within, not only from outside, from Krishna's, okay, Krishna's divine world, divine abode, divine consciousness, but both ways. Krishna is because Lord Krishna is within us, outside us. Bhavir Nishimno, Hridaye Nishimno. All around, all around us. So, I repeat, Lord Krishna and His divine grace can be felt in and out. He can be sheltered by, by His divine mercy. Feeling from within and also embraced from outside. We are living within that shelter. Mm. When it comes appears from within, it surges, it comes out like spring in the form of up surges, cover everything. And when it comes from outside, from Krishna's shelter, speaking in a relative sense, there is no real inside or outside, both are so closely interrelated. Okay, they become one, in and out become, come, come together and become one. They become unified into one principle, that of from inside and from outside. Become all around holistic, that of all around holistic concept of revelation. But relatively speaking, <clears throat> While coming from within, like springing up, surging up, spilling all over, covering all over, inundating the existence of our mind and heart. Yes. <clears throat> from when revealing, manifesting from outside, okay, outside of us, the art of that manifesting, manifestation is also that of inundating our, the shore of our heart, like the ocean wave breaks and inundates the soul, it's the soul. Mm. You have seen the sea, so the ocean wave, big, big ocean waves comes, breaks and inundates the soul. Similarly, <clears throat> that inundates the soul of our heart and also embraces us. That of embracing art. But that has to be done from outside. Mm. A child, a baby, enjoys it so much by getting embraced by mother. baby, the way a small baby or child relates to the embrace, worm, hug, or embrace of the <coughs> parents, <coughs> or anybody beloved. He feels it from within and without, from within and from outside, all over. He feels it all around him or her, isn't it? It's a wholesome experience of happiness for the baby, for the child, not, li not just in one way, the more wholesome experience of feeling loved by the parents or by any beloved while being embraced. Mm. Embracing, fondling, babies love it. They need it. It nurtures their life. 
sustains and nurtures their feelings and life, makes them feel so good. Mm. Not only gives some loving touch of the body to the baby, but also it can feel the warmth of love. It can directly feel babies are very sensitive, you know. Never consider a baby or child less reciprocative, less sensitive. Never ever. They are player of consciousness also very subtle and very reciprocative. They also have they are also personalities, full scale personalities of their own dimension. Small baby children are also persons with personalities, feelings of personality, with feeling, thinking, willing, everything, in full swing, relatively, in a relative sense, full swing, but little personality of their own type, own category, baby-like personality, child personality. have full personality, baby like way, like a bud of the flower, a bud of the flower also has its little fragrance and beauty, its own way, before blossoming in full, blooming in full. Mm. In a seed form, in the form of a small seed, whole future tree is there. I repeat, <coughs> the whole prospect, prospective, I mean, whole future tree is there in the seed, in its seed form, in the prospective world, its potential. It means, while you have the seeds on your palm, you can have all the big, big trees, big, big trees, the prospective way yet to be manifested in the future. Okay. You have all the big trees in your hand holding in form of potential, Post prospective ways. Mm. Just a matter of time and space and process of cultivation. You sow them in the ground and nurture them. Big trees will come out in the course of time. Similarly, the babies are like somewhat, I'm giving some example. Babies and small children so have a seed like personality. have so much within already through samaskar seed form they get nurtured they blossom and they take shape more shape and form in future although much added also although so much so much more of the culture in the, in the form of education in the form of culture cultivation added to their life so both the baby grows up into a full personality and the babyhood. In conjunction of the both, some he has already got, already got by constitutional nature in his or her constitution in the form of samaskara, sub, I mean some <clears throat> basic fundamental consciousness, notions, tendencies, and other part he receives from outside, from parents, society, surroundings, mother nature. Okay. This way, and he grows up. 
Then if you kiss him a bowl, something he has already got from within and some received from the environment, from parents or the environment, time, place, situation, mother nature. originally the seed is given in the heart and splits up or it is planted there from outside. This question is whether the seed is already originally present in the heart yeah. or it is planted from outside. Yeah. You know, after all, you know, again my way of answer will be of that of dual nature into oneness. Okay, dual ways, meeting the point of non-duality, unification into the principle of oneness. I just answered in a very philosophical manner. You understand? The Seed is there in our heart on the plane of soul, in the plane of Chaitya Guru, okay, already there. Now, after all, before that, you have to understand the mystical nature, the sophisticated nature of this world of spiritual realities. So, it happens not just in one way, all around way all round ways, holistically. It happens holistic ways. Not just sometimes one or two ways. But that holistic ways bind all relative ways together within. So it becomes one. Principle oneness. In and out comes to the point of oneness. Spiritual reality, manifestation of spiritual realities from inside, outside, meet the central point of unification, become united together, become sort of one, one nature. So, some aspects of the seeds of devotion to Krishna, loving devotion to Krishna already given and already present within our heart, the plane of our of a soul, okay, graced by the super soul that needs to that okay more in a sleeping state remains more in a sleeping state, sleeping condition that needs to be cultivated in Krishna consciousness. So, needs to be cultivated in Krishna consciousness with the help of okay, pure Krishna consciousness from within, from the level of Chaitra Guru. Help of Paramatma, grace of Paramatma. And also some sort of seeds planted from outside by the Mahanta Guru, Mahanta Gurus. Okay. Uh, who also who also manifest in our life by the grace and mercy of Lord, mercy of Krishna. In other words, 
who also has manifestation in our lives by the grace of Lord, arrangement of some grace, gracious connection. Mahant Guru of two types, Diksha Guru as well as Siksha Guru, of the Guru Tattva. See, all the three, all the three aspects of Guru Tattva are, are there, interrelated. Chaitya Guru, Diksha Guru, Siksha Guru. So, seeds are also offered, also given, also planted by the Mahant Gurus in the heart, in the, in the lives of uh, the disciples, empowered by the empowered by the flowing grace of the parampara, playing the role of transparent bhaya media of the parampara, of the flow, divine flow of devotion to Krishna. And in that flow, whatever seeds they have, Like that, okay. Whatever seeds they receive from their Gurudev, from Krishna, they also lovingly plant in the hearts, lives of the disciples, devotees. That functions also there. Both come together. Although I'm, I'm going to give you some mundane examples, but very practical. Of course, this example is from the law of creation. Law of creation, very practical examples, like the way our human life takes place in mother's womb, from both sides. Somewhat like this. The way our human birth takes place in the mother's womb. Okay? Both ways combined together into oneness forms the life. It can also happen in the spiritual world, similar way. Just give you some example to get the idea. That's not the way exactly. Okay? To get you some idea about how it mystically happens. You know? Things start happening from both ways, from within, from without, outside, by Krishna's grace and come together, gets unified. And uh, that's how it manifests in the devotee's life. Okay? Even some of the, of the fruit trees, flower trees, we call pollenizations. Something tree has, something bees bring, pollens. When the bees drink the honey, collect the honey from the flowers, to them it comes. And then fructification takes place. Clear? Hmm. Hmm. Stop now. Sorry. Time. Hare Krishna. The way you are listening from me is all the treasure of my Guru Bhargu, my Guru Maharaj Guru Bhargu. Also, propagate accordingly. Explain accordingly to other devotees and people to help them. Mm. Hare Krishna.
Holy Singh, <coughs> Muhammad Prince, Sat Muhammad, who wants to volunteer singing. <laughs> Just volunteer singing without shyness. We are rising above all shyness. Jayurada Madhava